forehand ground stroke. The key to the forehand ground stroke is be on the balls of your feet, try and anticipate if it's going to be a forehand or not, have your racket out in front of you in the proper ready position like we went over before in the video, and try and make sure that you have early preparation. Once your brain says forehand ground stroke, it registers forehand ground stroke right away, ready the racket. Keep the wrinkles on your wrist. Don't let the racket drop below your wrist. Make sure the racket is always above the wrist or level, one or the other. Never drop the head of the paddle. That's the lazy man's way of playing the game. If the ball is down low, you've got to bend your knees. You don't drop the head of the paddle. Okay. Ready the racket early. Early preparation, one of the most important things there is. Have your left hand up for balance. You're in this position here. You're ready to make the close stance. You step out to the ball. Wherever you plant that foot, wherever you plant that foot, that's the spot you're going to make contact with the ball. Keep your eye on the contact point long after the ball is gone. Pretend you're hitting four balls in a row. Four balls in a row. One, two, three, four. As far out as you can reach without falling on your face. Once you've followed through in the direction you want it to go, make sure that you follow through over your shoulder, not too early, four balls, back to the ready position as fast as you can. You're waiting for the ball. When the ball comes, ready the racket quickly, step out to the ball, pretend you're sitting in a chair. If the ball is down low, a low forehand, do not drop the head of the paddle, keep the racket cocked up, Wrinkles in your wrist, wrinkles in your wrist, and get down to the ball, swing level, set the face of the paddle open enough so it'll go over the net, follow through towards your target, come back to the ready position. The key to this is step towards where you want the ball to go, point your shoulder towards where you want the ball to go, and finish towards where you want the ball to go, and the ball will probably go exactly where you want it to go. The key to this shot is to make sure your knees are bent so you can drive off your back foot and put your power into the shot. Drive into the ball. Drive off your back foot. If your knees are bent, you can do it. If your knees are not bent, if you're straight, knees, you have no power, you lose half your power. And make sure you follow through hitting four balls in a row. With every single sport, you always go to the ball. You always have your weight going towards your tiger. You are driving off your back foot. Same as you would in bowling. You step with bowling. When you're hitting a baseball, you step to where you want it to go. Every single sport, you always have your power going towards the net or towards wherever you want it to go. Step towards where you want the ball to go. Make sure your shoulder is pointing where you want the ball to go. The reason your shoulder has to be pointing where you want the ball to go is because your body is designed to go where your shoulder is pointing. If I'm hitting a backhand, my body wants to finish here. My elbow ends there. So chances are I'll put the ball out of bounds. Unless I bring my shoulder around and then the racket will stop where I want it to go. If you try and hit a backhand with your shoulder pointing this way, you're probably going to hit the ball out. Make sure you point your shoulder where you want the ball to go and you'll be much more consistent. Follow through, four balls. Step to the ball. That was an open stance. Step to the ball, kiss your shoulder after. Kiss your shoulder after you follow through. Watch the ball after it's gone. Keep looking at the contact spot. After the ball is gone, don't lift your head. Bend your knees. If the ball's down low, get down to the ball. Get your nose down to the ball. Way down to the ball. Have your back, back knee. Has to be almost touching the ground. Left hand out in front of you for balance. Palm down. Time your step so you don't step too soon and you don't step too late. Keep checking your grip after the point to be sure your grip hasn't changed on you. 
follow through towards your target. Nice long follow through. Do not come up over your shoulder too soon. Follow through towards the target. Cross step if you have to. Step. 